What's up guys and welcome back to Tech Plant. It's been a real long time, I've been super busy, but let me show you some plants I've gotten while I've been away. The first batch of plants I wanna show you guys is a whole bunch that I got from my grandma. I'd actually been eyeing up one of them for a long time and I'm super happy that she passed them down on to me. This first one is the one I've been eyeing up and this one is actually about probably 10 years old. I believe this one came from my grandfather's funeral, which I think a lot of the plants that my grandmother has have come from funerals. But anyways, this is a Daffenbachia. I'm not sure exactly what type, but I just really like how it looks and it's very unique to other Daffenbachia that I've seen. This plant is poisonous though, so if you have pets, maybe it's not the right one for you. It desperately needs to be repotted but I can do that shortly but I really like the very white stems followed by like the green leaves with the kind of gray white tone this next one is a peace lily and I'm sure many of you already have this plant but it's just a nice green plant again this one is probably from another funeral and I bet if you ask your grandmother where a lot of her plants are from I can almost guarantee you at least one or two are from funerals the peace lily is a very fussy plant and it can easily look like it's dead but it just needs a little bit of water next up is another really common plant and that's the pothos or pothos plant she probably had like three or four of these and I think she might have kept one or two but now I have an absolute surplus I'm thinking about propagating some of these and really kind of getting almost like an entire waterfall of these things. I have so many at this point though, I don't know what to do with them. I think if I ever get around to selling those Pila A uh, Peperomiads or whatever, I'll probably just try and include random pothos cuttings just because I don't know what to do with them. I like pothos a lot though because these are really a pretty good low light plant and I have a new job so I'll definitely be taking these into the office. She also gifted me this beautiful pot with a snake plant in it. Although the snake plant is a little droopy, I think I can perk it up. If not, I have plans to kind of sacrifice this to propagation and see if I can get a bunch of new snake plants from it. I think a lot of these droopier leaves won't really ever perk up just because of like the way snake plants are. It's kind of like however they are at the moment, it's really difficult to make them stand up again. So. I think I can use this as an opportunity to practice propagating, but either way, it's cool to have my very first snake plant. I really do like the pot that this one came in though, it's pretty cool. I usually have a, just a bunch of crappy nursery pots, so it's nice to have like nice ceramic pots. All right, so that ends up being it for what my grandma gave me. Again, I'm super thankful to my grandma for hooking me up with these plants. I uh, definitely didn't have these in my collection, so it's cool to have now. And that Daffenbach is really something else, and I hope I can keep that thing alive for years to come. But I did end up purchasing some actual plants from the store and check these out. These are all called Calathea. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Again, I'm really bad with all these plant names, so I apologize in advance. But it'll be in the description so you can look them up. The really cool thing about these plants are is they're all in the same family. They're just bred to have such different variations and I really love that. These plants also really move a lot during the daytime. The leaves are constantly moving up and down as like the light changes. Very similar to the purple oxalis. This first one is the Calathea rosopictea, something like that. Other, otherwise it's known as like the rattlesnake plant. This next one is a very typical one and this one is usually called like a prayer plant. You'll see them in stores labeled that way. And then this last variation is actually called the peacock plant, so that's the other variation. I'm sure they have scientific names, but I can't find exactly what they are. But anyways, they're all the Calatheas, and there's tons more. I mean, there's probably like another 20 different varieties. So if you really like to collect a certain type of plant, this is definitely a very interesting one to collect. These plants just have such like different patterns on the leaves. It's crazy how you could take almost the same plant and just produce such crazy variations of color, patterns, and even shapes and sizes. Some of these have really tight like cellular patterns while other have like bright pink stripes. Just overall I think these plants are awesome and as I get more space if I eventually get a house, I would love to have a collection or an area dedicated to just this plant. This plant reminds me a lot of like the San Severia or the snake plant. How there's just tons of different varieties that you can collect but they're all essentially the same plant and kind of use the same care i'd like to do some time lapses eventually with these plants because they are so cool and they move so dang much they're really awesome well guys that pretty much sums up this video i hope you enjoyed watching i picked up a lot of cool plants my collection is kind of getting out of control at this point and because i'm so busy these days the pests are getting out of control i got spider mites i got fungus gnats who knows what else i got going on but anyways i'm going to make some separate videos on how to actually deal with all these dang pests uh one thing to let you guys know sometimes having a whole bunch of plants isn't always a good thing because after a while it becomes a little overwhelming and it's tough to keep on them especially when life gets busy but anyways that's all for another video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always may your plants go strong and healthy i'll see you next time